guys, today I will be showing you how to assemble a PB580HT echo blower. Uh, this works for most echo blowers and some other brand of uh, backpack leaf blowers because it's the same concept. Um, and so let's get right into it. Uh, so, first step is this thing, which is mostly forgotten by most people. Um, what you want to do with this is you push it through the clamp right here and around here. And then, what you do next is take the bigger clamp right here put it on the bigger side of this tube, like that. Like that. And you just run this through this tube, like that. Oh, right there, pull it out, and um, just put the tube on to here, like that. Like that, and so just dangling there. And make sure it's a little bit loose, not too tight. Um, but also not too loose. And then take this and you just tighten this and take the knob uh, so it's away from your body uh, so it's not hurting you or anything when you are working. So, away from you and just tighten it like that. And then what you do next is take this tube right here. Uh, make sure this line is still going through it. And then put it on right here. And you want to be thinking that these knobs are here, so make sure it's uh, aligned, but it's okay because this is quite simple. And actually, I forgot to put this clamp, but you also put on this clamp onto this side. And then you put this part of the tube on. Tighten this also away from your body so it's not hurting you when you are blowing. Tighten it on. Then the next thing is probably one of the more harder things. Is you grab the initial throttle right here. And what you want to do is put it on right there. Like that. And you put it on right here. The other way, actually. And you just clip this tube like that. Tighten the throttle and make sure this is in the position you like it. You could just switch it afterwards. So I'm just going to put it where it looks nice. And tighten this up. Uh, like that. And then you grab this tube right here and put it on. Like that. And then you just. these rails so it's on the mesh. Just like that. It's on there tight. The last thing you want is this right here. Same concept. Pull it on there and get in one of the rails like that. And it's on like that. And that is most of uh, what the assembly is made up of. We got the throttle right here. We got this thing from right here. We got that, and it's all nice and tight now. We got this cruise control right here. Um, and so what we'll be doing next is filling in uh, the gas right here. We'll fill this in and show you how to start this in a starting and first start and all that. So this is a two cycle uh, blower. So you're gonna need a gas oil mixture for this. Um, so we'll be pouring some into. 
And now to start this thing, what you want to do is you put this lever into a cold run. You press the little uh, button to, until you see gas, and then when you see gas about four more times. And then you come around here, uh, make sure that this is right now on stop, you pull it down one notch, and now it's on start. Uh, and then you walk back around here, you pull this lever one to five times until it starts, and it's going to uh, shut down right away, so don't be scared that it's not working. Like that. And now you put this from cold start to back down, and now you pull it uh, a couple more times to see it when it starts.